for much of this. So, let's see. At the end of the rainbow, there's happiness. And to find it, how often I've tried. But my life is that Charlie? Is a race, just a wild goose chase. And my dreams have all been denied. That sounds so sad. Charlie, no, you're not a failure. Oh my god, it's Earth! If the world's to blame, I wonder if it could angels. be me. The angels are horrifying. <laughs> So ready to find a little bluebird. Next cleanse 365. A year. Welcome to the Hasbin Hotel. Small cute. I'm not. No! I forgot what the cleansing means. Is it like having oh. to get rid of the demons oh, no. and everything? Because there's a I'm lot alive. of... There's like an overpopulation? Question mark? <laughs> Thanks for the fun time, hot stuff. Yeah, yeah, listen. Keep this discreet, you hear me? I can't let it get out I'm offering my services to randos on the street. It was a quick cash grab. You got it? <laughs> Whatever you say, <laughs> slut. <laughs> Ouch! Ooh, such an insult. Let me know when you come up with something creative to call me, you sack of poorly packaged horse shit. <laughs> All the misses, I said hi. Snuck him. Back up. Foam on Everyone dies. Yeah, everyone is. Everyone is dying. Angel does. Yoink. Hey, up yours, drag show. <gasps> oh my god. My drugs. Damn it. Oh, I forgot all this happened. I think half of this was like having to wreck a town, I think. Or wreck an entire part of the city. <laughs> Too many devils, so it's okay to do an unwise decision. Ah! Ah, okay. So that's, that's the clan. I see. Gee, that was pretty oh, it's a snake dude. Boss? Yeah! You really showed them what for. I liked when you, you shot really them show them what for? I wish he'd shoot me with his ray gun. At this rate, I will seize control of the entire west side of the pentagram by day's end. And nothing, not a single beast in this inferno of suffering will be able to take back this empire from my constrictive grasp. When aren't the, the seven deadly sins Hell will be mine. And everybody like will know the name of Sir The, the Sarkozy? Who said that? What did what's you the just say to me, you fried chicken fetuses? I have no Wait idea. Up. Thank that you for the lurk. Mr. Boss Man. A bomb. Oh, it's a smoke bomb. You looking for a fight, old man? Fairy! Get that Tinker Toy bullshit off my turf before I smash it! More. Oh, you wanna go, Missy? Well, I'm happy to oblige! <laughs> six, six, 
Fantastic news! I'm Katie Killjoy. And I'm Tom Trench. Chaos out of Pentagram City today as a turf war is raging on the west side between notable kingpin Serpentius and self-proclaimed spunky powerhouse Cherry Bomb. That's right, Tom. After the recent extermination, many areas are now up for grabs. Demons all over I hell are already duking out others to gain new territory. Those two seem ah, to really be okay, going at it. Huh? Looks like they're fighting tooth and nail for that hot spot. And I'd sure like to nail her hot spot. <laughs> <laughs> you are a lip dick jackass, Tom. Or should I say, no dick. Oh. We have an exclusive interview Princess with the daughter of Hell's own head honcho, who's here to discuss a new passion project. Mm -hmm. All that and more after the break. Suck it up, you little bitch. You suck it up, you little. <laughs> okay, you remember what to say? Yes. That's foul. I, I'm sure every man in a in a, in a in a five degree radius felt that. <laughs> they felt that. Like we need to, I don't know, make things sound more exciting. What if I sing a song about it? You knew I was gonna say that because I know you. But please don't sing. This is serious. Well, you know, I'm better at expressing myself and my goals through song. But life isn't a musical, hun. Fine. Life ain't a musical, but then the new episodes are a musical. The highlighted bits are the best part. Uh, it's all highlighted. Is this a drawing? Yes, that's the happy ending, see? Everyone's smiling and happy and heavy. She is so vanilla. So. Just please follow the talking points we went over. I think it's because Lucifer was once an angel, right? Not so I guess the angel part of her, I guess 50-50% of her is like all happiness and rainbows. That hurt me the first time I watched it. Oh god. Charlie. Katie killed Life you. is a musical? Nah, life is a tragedy. Life is a tragedy away. and a comedy at the same time. Please. I have standards. Yeah? How's, uh, how's that working out for you? Look, my time is money, so I'll keep this short. You're not here because we wanted you here. You're here because Jeffrey couldn't make it for his cannibal cooking segment. You might be some royal big shot, but that doesn't mean shit to me. I'm too rich and too influential to give a flying fuck about what some tough swearing demon princess wants to advertise. But I... So don't get cute with me, honey, or I will fucking bury you. And we're live. Welcome back. She is oh, unhinged. Charlie. It's Charlie. Whatever. Tell us about this new passion project you've been insistently pestering our news station about. Well. <clears throat> As most of you know, I was born here in hell. She's a Karen. Up, She's the symbolized Karen of this world. Everything around me. Hell is my home, and you are my people. We we just went through another extermination. We lost so many souls, and it breaks my heart to see my people being slaughtered every year. No one is even given a chance. I can't stand idly by while the place I live is subjected to such violence. So, I've been thinking, isn't there a more humane way to hinder overpopulation here in hell? Perhaps we can create hey, it's a so. <laughs> way to change souls through redemption. Isn't that Blitzo? <laughs> well, I think yes. So that's what this project aims to achieve. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm opening the first of its kind. A hotel that rehabilitates sinners. Hotels are for people passing through temporarily. <laughs> Is this girl for real? She thinks it. You hear what she thinks? She. <laughs> oh, she's nuts. I figure it would serve a purpose. A I don't think everyone is on board, honey. No one's on board. Stupid <laughs> bitch. Look. Every single one of you has something good deep down inside. I know you do. Your early predictions of how, yeah, that is true. Of Maybe of, I'm not um, getting through to you. Of hell of a boss. Oh no. I oh. have a dream. I'm here to tell about a wonderful, fantastic new hotel. Yes, it's one of a kind right here in hell. Catering to a specific clientele. Inside of every demon is a rainbow. Inside every sinner is a shiny smile. Inside of every creepy hat 
Nowhere. Congratulations. Wow. Amazing. That was shit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Nine circles makes you think a single denizen of hell would give two shits about becoming a better person. You have no proof that this little experiment even works. You want people to be good just because? Well, we have a patron already who believes in our cause and he's shown incredible progress. Oh, and who might that be? Oh, just someone named Angel Dust. The porn star? You fucking would, Tom. In any case, that's not even an accomplishment. I'm sure you can get that hooker to do anything with enough booger sugar and lube. Oh, I beg to differ. He's been behaved, clean, and out of trouble for two weeks now. Breaking news! Oh, no! We are receiving word that a new player has entered the ongoing turf war. Let's go to the live feed. Yeah, well... Oh, shit. Oh, shit, indeed. It looks like the one who just joined the battle is none other than... Porn actor Angel Dust. What a juicy coincidence. You must feel really stupid right now. Oh, my God, Angel. <laughs> Don't look at this. Well, it sure looks like your little project is dead on arrival. Tell us. How does it feel to be such a total failure? <laughs> yeah, well, how does it feel that I got your pen, huh? Bitch! <laughs> Oops. Hey, thanks for the backup, Angie. <laughs> Yo, kid, this is the best action I've seen in ages. Where you been, anyway? I thought you up and died or some shit. Oh, I wish. I've been staying at this crappy hotel on the other side of town. Some broads are letting me stay rent free if I play nice. Ah. <sighs> you know, that didn't that didn't take long, huh? Playing nice, uh huh. Her words, not mine. <sighs> These crazy bitches are no fun. I've been clean for two weeks. Holy shit. Well, sort of clean. As clean as you can get. Doing a shitload of Bolivian marching powder. <laughs> oh, harder, daddy. <laughs> Son. What? Oh my god. You whores have no class. In Carly could the take her easily if she wasn't so kind. That is true. Carly could. It would be that can. easy. Speaking of style, is your hat like alive or something? Oh, well, that's none of your goddamn business. Now is it? Well, the hat is having to make expressions though, bottom? which is funny. <laughs> I'm going to blow you to bits. Oh my god, they're little tiny wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm going to look at how cute they look. Oh my god, look at them so derpy. Tell <laughs> you to bits. Mm, kinky. Oh, not like that, pervert. No. Not so cocky now, are we? You know, you really gotta watch what comes out of your mouth. Uh, I've been making these sex jokes the whole time, and it's obvious you ain't catching on. I mean, it's just sex. So think you're gonna get in a lot of trouble for this? Eh, what's one little brawl gonna cause? That's a lot of brawl! <laughs> oh my god! You know you're my favorite. 
favorite guy to party with. You know it, sugar tits. You ready to finish this? Born ready, baby. Redeeming quality <laughs> friends with stuff not with turf wars that results in territorial genocide eh, You win some you lose a few hundred <laughs> It wasn't that bad anyway oh, Come on I had to my credibility was on the line I mean what kind of reputation would I have if people found out I was trying to go clean it just throws out my entire persona your credibility What about the hotels? Your little stunt made us look like a fucking joke. <laughs> no, 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 babe. Jokes are I funny. mean, I made you look uh, sad. Sad. Pathetic, like an orphan with no arms uh, or legs. Uh, uh, oh, with progeria. Oh my god. Right, now I'm bummed thinking about it. This thing have any liquor? Can you please just try to take this seriously? Fine, I'll try. Just don't get your taco in a twist, baby. Was that you trying to be sexist or racist? Whatever pisses you off more. <laughs> Is there seriously no- I love Angel, that's for his humor. I'm gonna kill him. Too late, Foots. Wait, would that make me double dead? <laughs> Where exactly do I go? To double hell? <laughs> Sorry, you're stuck with me, bitch. Get used to it. Oh my god. Listen, who cares if some jagoffs got hurt? Most of them are ugly freaks. Look around. You got a bunch of fucking Harlequin babies down You're one to talk? Hey, this body is flawless. Everyone wants some of me. And I got the creepy fan letters to prove it. The creepy fan letters! Oh god. Uh, this is really uh, uncool, you know, Angel. Uncool? After that Don't search what he said. I I know I will. Don't worry. To to the <laughs> All thanks to you and your selfish bullshit. Does that mean I don't have a free room anymore? Ah, oh, well, shucks. Hey, come on. We don't know if things are over yet. Try to relax, Baggy. It'll be okay. Eventually, but not today. It's probably a good idea to get some actual food in this place. You know, to feed all the wayward souls you got in here. <laughs> oh, well, uh, way to lift up the mood, Angel. I love how he tried. Tried to comfort her in a way. But, well, just couldn't. Hey, Mom. Um, I know I keep calling, and uh, you must be busy. Really busy. Oh. But, um, the interview didn't go well, and I don't know if I'm going to make a difference. Aww. I don't know what I'm doing. I could really use some advice, Mom. I... I think Dad was right about me. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'll stop talking before this gets long. Love you. Bye. Aw, Charlie. You're good, honey. Just need a lot more help. now you may tell us a pleasure to be meeting you sweetheart quite a pleasure excuse my sudden visit but i saw your fiasco on the picture show and i just couldn't i love alistair spelter it's so nice i haven't been that entertained since the stock market crash of 1929 <laughs> it's 
so many orphans. Stop right there! God, we're all equal to bear. I know your game. And I'm not gonna let you hurt anyone here, you pompous, cheesy talk show shitlord. Talk show <laughs> shitlord! <laughs> if I wanted to hurt anyone here, I would have done so already. Now, I'm here because I want to help! To say what now? Help! <laughs> Hello? Is this thing on? Testing? Testing! Well, I heard you loud and clear! Um, you want to help? With... This ridiculous thing you're trying to do. Ridiculous Don't thing he battle. said. I want to help you run it. But... Why? <laughs> Why does anyone do anything? Sheer, absolute boredom. I've lacked inspiration for decades. My work became mundane, lacking focus. Aimless. I've come to crave a new form of entertainment. <laughs> okay. Does getting into a fist fight with a reporter count as entertainment? People like to theory that Alistair has it's a the deer tail. Guy, my dear. Eyes, Reality. Scary. scary. <laughs> After all, that would not make him scary. Stage. Yeah. And the stage is a world of entertainment. So, does this mean that you think it's possible to rehabilitate a demon? <laughs> of course not! That's wacky nonsense! Well... Redemption! Oh, the non-existent humanity! No, 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 no! I don't think there's anything left that could save such loathsome sinners! The chance given was the life they lived before! The punishment is this! There is no undoing what is done! So then, why do you want to help me if you don't believe in my cause? Considered an investment in ongoing entertainment an investment. for myself! I want to watch the scum of the world struggle to climb up the hill of betterment, only to repeatedly trip and tumble down to the fiery pit of failure. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yes, indeedy. So he's sadistic. That's what I'm getting here. He's sadistic. Uh, so, uh, what's the deal with smiles over there? Wait, you've never heard of him before? You've been here longer than me. The radio demon. One of the most powerful beings hell has ever seen. Eh, not big on politics. Ugh. Decades ago, Alistair manifested in hell. Seemingly overnight, he began to topple overlords who had been dominant for centuries. That kind of raw power had never been harnessed by a mortal soul before. Then, he broadcast his carnage all throughout hell, just so everyone could witness his ability. Sinners started calling him the Radio Demon. As lazy as that is. Mm -hmm. Many have speculated what unimaginable force enabled him to rival our world's most ancient and destructive evils. But one thing's for sure. He's an unpredictable source of danger, a wicked spirit of mystery, and a violent monster of chaos, the likes of which we can't risk getting involved with unless we want to end up erased. You done? He looks like a strawberry pimp. <laughs> well, I don't trust him. To be fair, He's a sadist, you're a mask, guess what a perfect pair. Oh my goodness, we are man. not gonna be having a chat after this. Charlie, <laughs> you can't believe this creep. He isn't just a happy face. He's a deal maker, pure evil. He can't be redeemed. And is most likely looking for a way to destroy everything we're trying to do. I... We don't know that. Uh, look, I know he's bad, and I know he probably. I know he's bad, and he change. killed and he murdered but tons of people. Of to but he can change. change. Technically, things, things will be better. How can I turn someone away? I can't. It goes against everything. People I'm shipping together. To their ship is named everything Radio I Dust. Believe. Oh, just that's a fun name. Trust me, I can take. I can fix him. <laughs> Charlie, whatever you do. Charlie you literally know, said, "I can fix him." <laughs> I can fix him, I can redeem him! I picked up one thing from my dad. You don't take shit from other demons. Don't worry, we can fix him. I don't think you guys can fix him, chat. He's, he's unfixable. And you clearly see what I'm trying to do here as a joke. But I don't. I think everyone deserves a chance to prove they can be better. So I'm taking your offer to help. On the condition that there be no trickster voodoo strings attached. So it's a deal then? Shaking, no deals. I, hmm, as princess of hell and heir to the throne, I uh, hereby order that you help with this hotel for as long as you desire. I mean, 
sound fair? By authority! Fair enough. Cool beans. One hell of a team. <laughs> that is true. Smile, my dear! You know you're never fully dressed without one. So where is your hotel staff? Uh, well... Oh, you're going to need more than that. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I can suck your dick. Ha! Ah, no. Your loss. Well, this just won't do. I suppose I can cash in a few favors to liven things up. Why are you all women? I didn't even hear! I'm sorry if that's rude. Oh man, this place is filthy. It really needs a lady's touch. Which is weird because you're all ladies, no offense. Oh my gosh, this is awful! Nope, 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 <laughs> no, no, <gasps> no. Ha! Read them and weep, boys. Oh. <laughs> Hell? What the fuck is this? You. Ah, Husker, my good friend. Glad you could make it. Don't you Husker me. Ah, oh, it's so Husker. Bitch. I was about to win the whole damn pot. Good to see you too. What the hell do you want with me this time? My friend, I am doing some charity work, so I took it upon myself to volunteer your services. I hope you'll okay. volunteer your service you for me. Hmm. No, I don't think so. You thought it would be some kind of big fucking riot just to pull me out of nowhere? You think I'm some kind of fucking clown? Maybe. I ain't doing no fucking charity job. Well, I figured you would be the perfect face to man the front desk of this fine establishment. With your charming smile and welcoming energy, charming this job smile. was made for you. Oh my god, that's Don't the opposite worry, of what Husker friend. is. I can make this more welcoming, if you wish. What, you think you can buy me with a wink and some cheap booze? Well, you can. Well, you can. Hey, Easy. Hey, 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 no, no bar, no alcohol. This is supposed to be a place that discourages sin. Not some kind of now brothel man cave. Shut up! Shut up! We are keeping this. Hey. Go fuck yourself. Only if you watch me. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the happy hotel. You are going to love it here. I lost the ability to love years ago. Ah, oh, man. So, what do you think? This is amazing. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> this is going to be very entertaining. <laughs> you have a dream you wish to tell. And it's just laughable, but hey, kid, what the hell? Because you're one of a kind, a charming demon bell. Now let's give these burning fools a place to dwell. Take it, boys. <laughs> Inside of every demon is a lost cause. <laughs> but we'll dress them up for now with just a smile. Or an ignorant cesspool with some old redemption flair and show these simple tins some proper class and style. Oh, here below the ground. This is a buzz. So jazzy. Spend a little time down at this has been home. Well, well, well. Look who it is harboring the strike. As a thing, dude. We meet yet again, Alistair. <laughs> do I know you? Oh, yes, you do. And this time, I have the element of surprise. <laughs> I'm so evil. <laughs>
involved. Who wants some jambalaya? My mother once showed me a wonderful recipe for jambalaya. In fact, it nearly killed her. <laughs> you could say the kick was right out of hell. Oh, I'm on a roll. Yes, sir, this is the start of some real changes down here. The game is set. Well, now. that's a... Uh... Stay tuned. That's a that's a wonderful start. <laughs> hey. I would love some jambalaya. Hey, let's have some jambalaya. Oh, the old cat. 